Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, we are going to discuss the important reading strategies like scheming and scanning. Let's try to understand the meaning of scheming and scanning. Scheming means when we are reading a text for the general information. In this case, what do we do? We read the text quickly and we don't read, we don't try to understand every word. We try to think of one sentence or we summarize each paragraph or example, the main idea of the passage. That's the meaning of scheming. On the other hand, scanning means we read a text for specific information. In this case, we read the text slowly. We look for what is being asked for in the question like a specific person, specific date, or we identify the part of the text which the question is being asked and we read the text very carefully. There is a difference between scheming and scanning. Let's practice how to skim the passage. So there's a passage here. Today, many people prefer to travel independently. Firstly, they decide where they want to go and then think about the details, such as how long they want to stay, where they want to stay, how they will get there, how much it will cost and when they will go and what they need to take. So this is a very short passage and we need to skim it. To skim this passage, we need to find out those questions answers. We have first question here. How do people like to travel these days? Second question, how do they decide on first? How many other details are mentioned in the text? So we need to skim this passage and we need to find out the general information here. So when we find these three questions answers, we find here like this, how do people travel? How do people like to travel these days independently? So the general information, what do they decide on first? Where they want to go? How many other details are mentioned in the text? Like um, how they want to stay, where they want to stay, how they will get there, how much it will cost, when they will go, what they need to take. So this is how we need to skim the passage. Now we have one more example here. There's one more passage to skim. The time you go depends on what you want to do. For example, if you want to do outdoor activities such as walking, cycling or canoeing, then you need to choose a time when the weather is dry. If you prefer a more relaxed holiday spent sunbathing and swimming, then the weather should not be too hot. Now, there are a few questions based on it. What is the time you go depend on? What are some examples of outdoor activities? What do you do on a relaxing holiday? So after scheming, after finding the general information, we find the answers here. For the first question, we have the answer. What do you want to do? That's what the time you that's what uh, the time you, you go depend on. So the second question, walking, cycling, canoeing. And the third question answer is here, sunbathing and swimming. Swimming. This is how we need to skim the passage. We need to read uh, in such a manner that we find the information, only the selective information. Now, now we have the example here, how to scan the passage and answer the questions set on it. So we have one model passage here. The passage is, is like this. I really don't know why this book is so popular. I mean, I suppose it is going to appeal to young girls who want danger and romance, but I found this book really tedious for a start. The characters were really unconvincing. The author went out of her way to add lots of details about the characters. But I found these details really pointless. I thought that 
some of the facts she presented about the main characters would become significant in some way later in the novel but they didn't they were just worthless bits of information i also disappointed that although i also was dis disappointed that although this book is meant to be about kids at high school the writer seems to have no recollection at all about what it is like to be 17 the main character thought and acted like a 32 year old it just was not believable i'm not saying teresa wilson is a bad writer she can obviously string words together and come up with a story that is appealing to large number of people but she lacks anything original there is no flair it just uses the same sort of language as you can see in many other mediocre in many other mediocre novels so this is how we need to read it silently and we need to scan it and scanning in the sense we need to find out the specific information for example we have these three questions for the specific information here which age group will like this book so the answer is here young girls so that's a specific information that's the meaning of scanning the passage or scanning the text who is teresa wilson teresa wilson is the author of the book or the writer mentioned in the passage what does mediocre mean in the last line it means average or nothing special so dear friends the dear students this is how we need to scan or you need to skim the passage and you can develop your reading skills by applying those two important methods thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have liked this video please do comment click on the like button and also subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed if you have any questions on this topic or any other topics of your syllabus you can mail me on this email id mukeshenglish@gmail.com thank you once again